Once upon a time, in a humble yet loving home beside Regent's Park in London, there lived a Dalmatian family who had two lovely pets, Roger and Anita. Every day, Roger wrote wonderful songs and Anita painted wonderful pictures. Meanwhile, Nanny kept the house in order. La 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 la. Every night as Anita and Roger were at work and Nanny prepared dinner, the puppies gathered around the television to watch the favorite celebrity Thunderbolt the Wonder Dog. But their favorite part was their commercial for their favorite treat. Here it comes, everybody. Are you ready? Ready! Now a word for our sponsor. Canine Crunchies! The champion of all dog biscuits! Corella de Ville to come pay us a visit. What on earth is all that racket? How am I ever going to get my beauty sleep? Beauty sleep? Did she say beauty sleep? That's a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Corella? What a lovely fur. Do you like it? It's a genuine one of kind of costs oodles of pounds. Now I have almost completed my collection of every kind of fur coat in the entire world. Yes, it's lovely, and I'm terribly sad about the noise. Really, the puppies mean no harm at all. 
Well, just to be sure the puppies don't do it again, I don't want the yowls and growls, but a little furry creatures. <gasps> But a little furry creatures. Why, I don't think I've quite seen anything like them. Look at the thefts, look at the patterns, why they're practically works of art. And just when I need to complete my collection. You know what, I've changed my mind. I've been without a pet long enough, no one to play with. I can't wait to wear, I mean care for all the little puppies. I'll buy the whole litter, how much? Oh, I'm afraid we can't give them up. Poor Fordito would be heartbroken. Anita, don't be ridiculous. You can possibly afford to keep them. You can scarcely afford to feed yourselves. Here's a hundred for the lot. Corella, we're not selling the puppies. Oh, surely you must be joking. Two hundred. No, no, I, I mean it. Fine, you forced my hand. Three zillion pounds and that's my final offer. I'm sorry, Corella. We're not selling a single one. Why, you whore, man, you, you, all right, keep the little beast for all I care, do as you like with them, drown them, but I warn you, I'll get even, just you wait, you'll be sorry, you fools, you, you nincom poops. <laughs> oh, Roger, you're magnificent, darling. She's horrible, Pongo, she's absolutely horrible. No need to worry, Perdita, she's gone now. Really? Why does this woman have to be so mean? Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will To see her is to take a sudden chill Cruella, Cruella de Vil Pongo and Perdita's house, and everyone was happy. They thought they had seen the last of their mean and awful neighbor. But what they didn't know was that they were busy making plans. Evil plans with their two evil old henchmen, Horace and Jasper. What do you mean we've run out of fur? We can't have possibly run out of fur. This pattern calls for a, a muffin boots. I want my matching muffin boots. By McCrow, we bought up every Dalmatian puppy in all of London. And there are no more for sale in a hundred miles of here. Who said anything about a sale? My muffin boots are living right next door. But I thought that all of the cup that the couple with with all the dogs was living right next door. Exactly, you ninkum poop. You mean that's right. I think it's time we pay dear Roger and Anita another visit. Come on, boys. It's time to make our plans. Just think how easy it will be to bring those puppies straight to me. To nab them all, we've got the king. Delicious canine crunchies. What's she talking about? Search me. Grown-ups will go out and then We'll dress up like delivery men And tempt them with the bag or tent Bag or tent? What's a bag or tent? Ask her! Of delicious canine crunchies Don't you nincompoops get it? The puppies are supposed to stay safe 
safe inside. But how can they resist once they hear their favorite song? Row, row, row your boat. Happy birthday to you. No, no, you dolts. Hello. The next day, Anita and Nanny took Pongo and Pratija for a walk, leaving Roger with the puppies. Roger put them all in front of the TV and went to the piano and fell soundly asleep. Little did anyone know the danger that lie ahead. All right, boys. Now go out there and get me those puppies. Hello, little puppies. What's up and here for you? A whole truck full of canine crunchies. Be very quiet, though. We don't want to wake up the nice man, do we? Come out to the truck with me and pick your favorite flavor. Don't worry about him. We'll just be gone an itty bitty little minute. searched and searched, but the puppies were nowhere to be found. Roger and Anita ran off to get the police, wondering who could have done such an awful thing. But Perdita knew the only person who could be behind her missing puppies. Corella, Corella DeVille has stolen our puppies. Oh, Pongo, do you think we'll ever find them? They've rung the police, but I'm afraid they won't be quick enough. We can't let our puppies down. But what should we do? Surely there must be a way to save them. Well, there's the twilight bark. The twilight bark? But dear, that's only a gossip chain. Darling is a very fast way to send news. And if our puppies are anywhere in the city, the London dogs will know. All right, dear, let's try it. There's no time to lose. What's on the telegraph? It's Pongo, Regent's Park, an all dog alert. An all dog alert? An all dog alert. An all dog alert. Has someone been captured? Has someone been hurt? Her team is supposed to carry it off. I say, you were to the studies right away. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Gather round, laddies. It looks like we'd be getting a message from Regent's Park. A message from Regent's Park? Aye! A dog SOS, a dog SOS. What happened, what happened, you never will guess. For teachers, please were carried off. Be gosh, we better tell the poodles. Come on, tip hush. We better get to where to teach you all was. Perhaps you 
Pumba, you will not believe what I am hearing. Los puppies es patitos. Los puppies es tan patitos. Ay, caramba! Un momento, ¿tienen tu y Jessie muchos puppies en aquí en Sí, 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 sí. Sergeant Tibbs reporting for duty. Oh my gosh, Corral stole Perdita's puppies and took them to their home. We must get them out before it's too late. Never fear, everyone. If we work together, we'll get those puppies in no time. Now follow me. Meanwhile, in Corella's fur vault, far away from the safety of their home in Regent's Park, Pongo and Perdita's puppies learned they weren't the only ones in trouble. What's going on? Where are we? You and Corella football. Corella brought us here. Gee, what do you suppose she could want with all of us? Watch where you're going, you nincompoops! Looks like we're going to find out. I tell you, it's going to be a done tonight. Do you understand? Tonight! But Corella, how are we supposed to do it? Bats, boulders, boomerangs, I don't care! Bunk them on their heads. But? The police are everywhere. I must have my coat. My beautiful, beautiful spotted coat with the matching muffin boots. Spotted coat? Shh! <laughs> ah! My puppies! My puppies! Hey, Horace, look. They're gone. They flew the coop. Well, don't just stand there, you idiots. After them! Neighbors, fancy seeing you out at a night like this. What's going on here? Why, we're just playing. Weren't we, cute little puppy? Ah! She's gonna make a coat out of us. A muffin boots, too. Horace and Jasper, we're gonna bonk us on their head. And, and, do us in. The game is over, Corella. We're on to your evil scheme. That's right, you evil woman. How could you be so mean? Two such cute, defenseless little... Ah! Come off it, Horace. It was you two's idea all along. I tried to stop them, officer, but... Ah! Enough of this. Down to the station, all three of you. Need some help here, officer? Um, no, no. These Dalmatians are ours. Well, we don't want a good net to go to waste, do we? Why? You nincompoops, you imbecile, watch the hair, watch the hair. My goodness, how many of them are there anyway? 99, and with Pongo and per Perdita, that makes... 101 Dalmatians! 101 Dalmatians? Well, what will we do with all of them? We'll keep them. In our little house? Of course not, we'll buy a big place in the country. <laughs> We'll have a plantation, a Dalmatian plantation. Oh, Roger, that's truly an inspiration. It'll 
will be a sensation. We'll have a Dalmatian plantation. A Dalmatian plantation, I say. We'll have a Dalmatian plantation.